You know, things have changed a lot in the last 400 years. Today we celebrate the events that occurred well after the Protestant Reformation. It was a time when the religious and secular world was disturbed. People like you were rocked with powerful doubts and questions. Questions like, how do you make sense of senseless violence? Or why is our world so messed up if God is so good and powerful? And people sitting in pews like this were wondering what can we still trust in when some days I can't even trust myself? Does God actually make a difference in this broken world? These are the underlying questions that disturbed everyone 400 years ago. And I don't think things have changed that much From November 14th, 1618, a international gathering of Reformed folks in Dortrecht, the Netherlands, gathered to study scripture, deliberate, to pray, and to work at producing some answers for those pressing questions. And it was a desperate struggle. And it happened because people were worried, they were anxious, they were nervous, And they're worried enough to spend time seeking God's face to answer those questions. And they met for six months, and what they produced changed the theological world. We call it the Canons of Dort. Some of you know it better as the Doctrines of Grace or the Five Points of Calvinism, which is probably a little bit misleading. I'm not sure that John Calvin uh, would be able to name his five points, but I digress, I guess. Uh, we'll be following the outline of Tulip because that's how a lot of you know this. But what we're celebrating tonight are ideas that have stood as written for just a couple months short of 400 years now. This has stood the test of time, and there's still room for debate and pondering. Good, godly people still wrestle with these things. But we're going to celebrate tonight the impact of faithful people who dug deep, thought hard about scripture, and were able to help people think about our great God. So good evening, everybody. My name is Sam Sutter. I'm one of the leaders here at Goshen Church. And tonight, I am really excited and honored to have, and we have nine local Reformed churches gathering, coming here in worship, and I am so grateful to be a part of Uh, this group of the Reformed Witness in our region. Tonight, folks, you're in for a treat. I have asked five Reformed Church pastors to speak, uh, and I didn't give them an easy job. I've asked each of these men to speak for five minutes each. On one of the each, each of the five points, the cans of Dort, which is not an easy job. I'm glad I don't have to do it. Uh, But we have the privilege of spending tonight thinking about theology, and and we're going to sing. I I just can't wait to hear your voices fill this room and uh, see and savor the unity of the Spirit. Let's begin in prayer. So, Father in heaven, thank you for your word. We thank you, O Lord, that we can trust you when things are difficult. Thank you that you speak to us through Scripture and that you've given the gift of a robust theological tradition, can, we, can you teach us to love each other? Can you teach us to love you? Can you teach us to follow you boldly? I ask all this in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. I'm going to ask you if you would stand. We're going to, uh, actually, I'll ask the orchestra to come up first. Uh, we're going to sing one of the major anthems of the Protestant Reformation. If you're able to stand, if you, if you need to sit, that's okay, too. You'll find this in the Blue Psalter Hymnal, number 444, uh, maybe the anthem of the Reformation, A Mighty Fortress is Our God. As we sing this, I'd like you to pay special attention to what Luther says about God's word, about where we go when we're in trouble, and what we can trust in. Let's sing this together. 